Hello everybody, this is From Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Grimmel, and my buddy over here is Christopher Draves. As you can only see his shoulder, but we come today and with somber news of Kobe Bryant's passing. Um, the Nashville Predators, as you can see, did a wonderful tribute to Kobe Bryant. Uh, much respect to their organization and every other organization that, had, that has done this. Um, it's hit the sports community. We are all one family. Yeah. It hurt. I was I was a fan as a kid. Um, I was. Me and Chris were both fans as kids, but as they always say, the show must go on, and Kobe would want it that way. Rest in peace, Kobe. All right, so our show we cover everything Admirals, Fl Florida Everblades, and Nashville Predators related. Um, and our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, twenty o two West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can also get all your hockey needs, referee gear, and your in uh, your roller skating hockey gear, you can get any kind of ice skating mem uh, merchandise or you're good, you're good. Keep it going, keep it going. You, you got this, you got this. You can get um, Admiral's jerseys from this season. You can get this wonderful shirt that is a nice shirt. You can get the Admiral's blue, uh, blue jerseys. If I remember correctly, you can get the Predators. I don't white. think you got the blue jerseys for the Admiral's, I've only seen their white ones there. I've seen the blue ones there, I think they have both. But it depends on what they got in stock. True. Um, but you can also get uh, white Predators jerseys, uh, Minnesota Wild jerseys, and classic retro hockey jerseys. Yeah, the Minnesota Wild jerseys are from when Reebok was the sponsor. Of well, they do have Adidas as well. Oh, they do. Okay. Yeah, so they, they were did, in the... So they did upstock them. Cool. Yeah. The last time I was there, all they had was the Reebok Wild jerseys. Yeah, they also have CCM hoodies. And, yeah. It's uh, a nice place. So uh, if you go there, you could visit them where? At 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, or visit them at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. If you go there in store, tell them that we sent you only if you guys are willing to spend the money. If you don't spend the money, we don't know you. Also, add in, um, you could call them at 414-800-7585 um, if you have any questions about what they may or may not have in stock. So today the Nashville Predators played the Toronto Marlies. I mean Maple Leafs. Oh no, the Predators got a spank. <laughs> what else is new? Did they really even play the Maple Leafs? It looks like they were just skating around hitting a puck. I fell asleep in the second. Yeah, it, it was a tough game to watch. It really was. I didn't even want to fall asleep. I just was laying there watching and... <laughs> yeah. Um, Honestly, so, Predators, I don't know, man. It's, you guys make it tough to cover you, but we still do. <sighs> Pretty so, soon this is going to turn into a paper bag and a bottle of Jack. <laughs> Thank you. Don't make us go Harry Doyle on it. A la with Milwaukee's own Bob Euchre. Yep, that's a major league reference for all you youngins. Yeah, see, not many young people know about that movie, Major League. All right, let's talk about this it, crappy game, shall we? It, oh, just for you young people, it's got Charlie Sheen in it. <laughs> Winning. Yeah. All right, anyway, Predators outshot the uh, Maple Leafs 36-31. Uh, it was, wow, on face-off percent, it was 50% for the Maple Leafs and 50% for Predators. Uh, both teams were 0 for on the power play. The Maple Leafs were 0 for 2, and the Predators were 0 for 1. Uh, the Predators had four penalty minutes, and the Maple Leafs had two. Uh, Predators had 19 hits, and the Maple Leafs had 18. Uh, blocked shots for, was it, 13 for the Leafs and 11 for the Predators. The Predators had 10 giveaways, and the Maple Leafs only had five. you got to do something about the giveaway department. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. So show that up, and you'll not be losing 5-2. to two. And uh, maybe not play bad on the power play, because, you know, you did go home uh, for... Uh, or one. give up, like, seven breakaways in the first two periods. Yeah, yeah. Um, so scoring in the first was William Nylander with his 23rd with an assist from Sandine, his fifth. Uh, then Mikel Granlin got his ninth with an assist from Duchesne, his 22nd, and Forsberg, his 17th. Then Zach Hyman scored his 13th with an assist from Marner, his 20th, or 35th, and Tyson Berry, Berry his right? yeah Tyson Berry his 24th. Then Rasmus Sedin got his first pro NHL goal. 
with an assist from Kerfoot, his 12th, and Nylander, his 22nd. Then Jason Oldman Spezza got his 7th with uh, an assist from Halla, or Hall, Hall, H-O-L-L, his 13th, and Hyman, his 10th. Um, then uh, Victor Arvidsson scored his 12th with an assist from Ekholm, his 22nd, and Benito, his 13th. Then Austin Matthews got the empty netter with his 35th unassisted. In net uh, with Frederick Anderson, he stopped 34-36 with a .944 save percentage. Uh, Pecorine was in net. He basically kept this game from getting any worse than it was. Um, he stopped 26 of 30 with a .867 save percentage. But when you have no defense in front of you, those things happen. Um, referees were Kelly Sutherland and Peter McDougall. Uh, linesmen were Scott Dreskel and Ryan Galloway. Head coach for Toronto is Sheldon Keefe. Uh, head coach for Nashville is John Hines. Scratches for Toronto is former Admiral Tyler Gaudette, uh, Dmitro Timoshov, and Martin Marinson. Um, scratches for Nashville were Jared Tenorti and Yakov Trenin. Up next for us... The Nashville Predators play the Washington Capitals, which is another big task in front of us. Yep, that'll be Wednesday night in Washington at 6.30 p.m. Central Time. Um, Wait, is that my cue to keep going? Yeah. All right, uh, the last time the Predators and Capitals played was on October 10th. Uh, Predators won 6-5 in Nashville. Alrighty then. Now, let's talk about these Capitals. Well, we already know that me and him are marks for Alex Ovechkin, so you already know we have to, uh, you already know we're going to say keep an eye on the, the great eight. Who's better than the great one by seven? <laughs> yeah, uh, let, me, uh, let me put some em emphasis on that. Wait. Is Ovechkin even playing right now? Because I don't see him listed. I think that would wait, be wait. him serving his one game suspension. Ah, weak. So we ain't gonna get to see the grade eight. That's crap. actually he served it today. We're good. So how come he ain't listed then? Cause that's today's lines. Lame. Hold on. Well, get Ovechkin's stats if this thing don't upgrade. Cause seriously, he's a front liner and he's like the guy. I'm working on it. You just go with what you got. All right, with who I got. Uh. In the front line is Tom Wilson. What the stupid pop ups? Yeah, all right. Technical difficulties. All right, Tom Wilson, the right winger, has 14 goals, 19 assists. Uh, Nicholas Backstrom, 9 goals, 29 assists. Uh, and then the guy I'm assuming that's replacing Ovechkin, Richard Panic, 5 goals, 4 assists this year. Uh, then you got in the second line, you got left winger uh, Jacob Brana, uh, 22 goals, 18 assists. Then you got Evgeny Kuznetsov, their center in the second line, 16 goals, 26 assists. And then uh, you got right winger TJ Oshie, 18 goals, 16 assists. Then after that, uh, Lars Eller is like the only guy you have to worry about the third line. He's their center. He has 11 goals, 16 assists. In defense, uh, John Carlson, he has uh, 13 goals, 47 assists. His partner in that line is, uh, what is that, Mikkel Kempney? Uh, three goals, 13 assists. And then uh, Dimitri Orloff, he has three goals, 19 assists. And uh, Nick Jensen, three assists. Other than that, I wouldn't worry about Jonas uh, Siegenthaler. Oh, Jonas St Siege Siegenthaler. Yeah, what he said. He has two goals and a seven assists. And then uh, Radko Gudas, uh, two goals, 12 assists. So, yeah, your defensive pairings really ain't anything to worry about outside of that first pairing with uh, John Carlson. And, like I said, the first two lines are lethal. 
And you got to worry about Lars Eller in the third line as their center. Other than that, there's really not much I'd worry about. Uh, Braden Holpe is a really good goalie, but he'll break that down right now after he finds Ovechkin's stats. Ovechkin, he has 49 games played, 34 goals, 16 assists with a minus 9. There you go. So if he does play, he'll be taking over uh, Richard Panic's spot. And he'll just bump down one. So... Yeah, Wilson, Backstrom, and Ovechkin. And then on that second line, you'd have Panic, Oshie, and Backstrom. And, or uh, Kuznetsov. So, yeah, that front two lines for the Capitals is going to be lethal. Honestly, I think the Predators are going to get smacked around like they did tonight. I'm sorry, the Predators are really giving me no hope. I do think there is a possibility of them squeaking into the eighth seed, but they really got to do something drastic. Yeah, right now we're sitting at last place in the Central Division. Yeah. Um, which, if you're looking for a first-round pick, that's probably a good a good thing. So. Yeah, break down their goalies. All right, so the starting goaltender is Brighton Holtby. He has not, uh, 34 games played, 19 wins, 9 losses, 4 overtime losses with uh, 3.05 goals against average and a point eight nine nine save percentage. Holtby was an all-star this weekend, by the way. Yeah, but his save percentage is atrocious. Yeah. Um, and then you have Ilya Samsonov. He's much better. Um, he has 19 games played. He has 15 wins, two losses, one overtime loss, with a .927 save percentage and a 2.06 goals against average with one shutout. <sighs> All right. So, um, in their last 10, they're seven and three on a four-game win streak. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, uh, Predators, uh, good luck. Good luck. Um, so don't forget to check out our friends over here at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, get all your hockey needs. Um, mention us when you go there and buy things. Subscribe to us on YouTube and click the little bell. Yes. And we will see you guys... Wednesday. Wednesday. Unless something drastic happens tomorrow. Yep. Knock on wood. Yeah. Well, tomorrow's our day off. First Knock one. Knock on wood. First day in like, what, a week? <laughs> it seems.